when the dirt road starts in the port precinct, we've got this lovely space where everything just sort of slows down. If you'd have said to me a couple of years ago, this is what you're going to be doing, I would have said you're absolutely mad. I felt I was quite shy and uh, found it difficult speaking to people. My first day of opening the gallery, I sold my first painting uh, and they hadn't even been hung on the wall, so that was such a big buzz. My name is Glenda Cornell. I'm from Nathalia, but I now run uh, my own gallery here in Natuka. Whistle Stop means something somewhere small, and of course the building is a small, I call, Whistle Stop. This particular building was formerly Strathmerton Station. It's a heritage listed building, uh, so it has its, has its original colours. It's certainly got the most beautiful light that you could ever want for artwork. I love that sound. It's the most comforting sound. I don't know what it is, but it's very comforting to me, and I love it. It's the meeting of the whistles. When I hear the whistles of the trains and the whistles of the boat, it's often hard to distinguish which one's which. I don't work, I actually play all day and talk to people, which is just wonderful. It's a lovely, lovely experience. So basically just canvas and then frayed. I've had some great commissions. The Shire Commission met 10 years ago to show whatever happens around the river. They're made from clay, individual pieces. There's no moulding. I glaze and fire them myself. A little bit of magic happens in an artwork and then somebody recognises it. They've got wonderful memories of their time in Echuca by just coming into my little gallery, <laughs> which I'm thrilled about. People that walk into the Discovery Centre can see a very large painting. What they'll be seeing when they're on the boat. It's a lovely thought knowing that your pieces are going to outlive you.